perfume. And the day you die is better than the day you were born. In the same way, it is better to go to a funeral than a celebration. Why? Because death is the end of life's journey, and the living should always take that to heart. Sorrow beats foolish laughter. Embracing sadness somehow gladdens our heart. A wise heart is well acquainted with grief. But a foolish heart seeks only pleasure's company. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than a song written by fools. Having the last word is better than having the first. And patience will benefit you more than pride. Do not be quick to anger, for anger sits comfortably in the lap of fools. Do not ask, where have all the good times gone? Wisdom knows better than to ask such a thing. It is good to have wisdom along with an inheritance. They give a clear advantage to those who see the sun. For together wisdom and money are alike in this. Both offer protection from life's misfortunes. But the real advantage of knowledge is this. Wisdom alone preserves the lives of those who have it. Think for a moment about the work of God. Can anyone make straight what God has made crooked? There is not a righteous person on earth who always does good and never sins. Don't take to heart all that people say. Eventually, you may hear your servant curse you. And face it, your heart has overheard how often you've cursed others. I have tested all of these sayings against wisdom. I promised myself I will become wise, but wisdom kept its distance. True wisdom remains elusive. Its profound mysteries are remote. Who can discover it? So I turned and dedicated my heart to knowing more, to digging deeper, to searching harder for wisdom and the reasons things are as they are. I applied myself to understanding the connection between wickedness and folly, between folly and madness. Look at this. After investigating the matter thoroughly to find out why things are as they are, I realize that although I kept on searching, I've not found what I'm looking for. Here's what I figured out. God made humanity for good, but we humans go out and scheme our way into trouble. How rare to find one who is truly wise, one who knows how to interpret this or solve that. Wisdom brightens the countenance of the face 
and softens hard lines etched in the face. Yes, there is a time and a way to deal with every situation, even when a person's troubles are on the rise. I saw all the works and ways of God, and it became clear to me that no one is able to grasp fully this mystery called life. Try as we might, we cannot. And when all is said and done, here is the last word. Worship in reverence the one true God and keep his commands. For this is what God expects of every person. For God will judge every action, including everything done in secret, whether it be good or evil.